morning. Uh, for those of you that haven't met me, my name is Nelson Fuentes. I run Invertigear. I have a small academy in Pennsylvania called Invertigear Academy. I'm in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. And we're doing Choi Bars today, which is a really cool submission and also a really cool control position. And I was introduced to this at a correct your own seminar, I think like three years ago. He showed like a bunch of like leg lock entries and right at the end, he's like, oh yeah, like there's this cool thing I'm doing upper body. And it was like Choi Bar. And I've been messing with it, with it for like four years, watching like my correct your ass, Lack on Giles, I've done a lot of these. And then their name after this Korean black belt, Last name is Choi, that's where the Choi bar came from. I forgot his first name, but if you watch uh, Asian Open matches, he, he does this in the gi, he just pulls people down, gets that other hook clamp, and he just goes to town on it. So, uh, let's talk about it real quick. The most basic one is gonna come from Nishio. So I have my Nishio position, and anytime they start like reaching for your head, or you get them to pose, or they're just like trying to pass, like you know, pushing your knee down. Sometimes you can just like start elevating this knee, they push this down. Anytime you get access to this open elbow, you're gonna take it. So I'm gonna underhook, bottom arm's gonna be like right around the middle of the arm here, and then I want the top one closer to the top of your shoulder. See how I'm turning it here? So I wanna clamp, and I wanna put pressure down and get his, el his shoulder clamped here, and I'm putting a little bit of Torque with my elbow by elevating my elbow. <coughs> See how this arm bends here? I want to keep that bend in the arm. Now, my leg needs to come all the way over. So I have two options. One, I can hip skate and throw this all the way over and through. Or, we'll work on it in a minute, is bring it through the inside, hinge, and circle. Okay? Now, once I'm here, I'm not going to finish the knee bar by just hipping in, but I'm going to. Pinch all the way down. See how my knee comes down? I'm internally rotating my hip. I'm gonna grab this wrist and I'm gonna pull it towards the sky as I pinch down and I'm gonna get the tag. Cool? So one more time. We have this knee shield. I'm gonna find a way to get my hand inside this elbow pit here. Connect my hands over the top and I want my elbow somewhat close to the shoulder here so I can clamp down. And I want his shoulder, the point of his shoulder right below my sternum here. Right? I, don't want it, I don't want this too high here. This was my biggest mistake when I started. I was pumping too high. You want a little bit lower here. So it's going to be easier for you to clear and throw your leg through. As my leg goes through, I want my foot all the way over. So my toes are on the far side of his hip. I'm going to pinch down. I'm going to pull at the wrist and elevate and then put pressure in. Go. Cool. Let's try it. One, two. So, we're starting here, right? Everybody got the knee shield. Go on your side. I'm going to get this clamp. And I'm opening up this elbow. He's going to bend his arm. I'm going to open up this elbow here. Right? Now, I hip skate. I threw my leg over. Cool. Now we're in this position. My knees are clamped down. Bottom arm is against the, my bottom elbow is against the mat, right? Top hand is gonna come here, and I'm gonna pull against my knee. As I'm pinching, I'm pulling against my knee, I'm hugging everything, and driving my hips in. And this is super tight because I'm taking, I'm pinching his shoulder joint down with my legs, and now I'm, I have such good control of the elbow that I only need a little bit of pressure to get the finish. Okay? This is a really strong finishing position. And then you can take your time finishing because sometimes you're going to hide the arm, they're going to try to crowd you, we'll go over all those spots in a second, and we're going to do a lot of entries. But I just want you getting comfortable finding this spot. So I'm here, I'm here, and I'm here. Cool? Bottom elbow is through, top hand controls the wrist, and he's going to pinch. When you're gable gripping his shoulder and you get, looks like you get his left shoulder to touch your, your right bicep, are you collapsing your left knee or you, or you keep it? I'm not, yeah, I don't want this to collapse. Mm -hmm. I want to keep this up. If anything, I open it up. Ah. So I elevate his shoulder to, to get all his weight to drop into me. Now I have the option because if he tries to hold on to my leg, I can bring my knee inside. Mm -hmm. 
I would bring them even further down where I can circle. And now I'm here, and I'm here. Cool? So this is the basic entry. You don't have to do this from the knee shield. I just spent like an hour open mat. I think I hit 10 of these from like all different positions. So you, you got to roll with me the last hour. I terrorized you. I apologize. <laughs> I, I just review it real quick. So we're going to go over a bunch of entries now. But it all leads to that spot. And like, you know, the more you do it, the more you see it. And then you do it from the bottom. You do it when you're getting pads. You do it when you set it up. You can do it from the top when you're getting swept. So we'll go into all that in a second. But I want you getting comfortable in that finished position. So then I can show you how to get there. Cool? All right, so one more time. Ready? One, two. So one question was, when do you land? your knee shield collapse. Mm -hmm. This is the problem with letting your knee shield collapse. If he goes for it and collapses his knee shield, I can connect my hands under and I can just hang out here. Mm. And now it's really hard for you to get your leg out because you can't kick it down. And now it's gonna be a lot harder to get your knee to my shoulder again. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Now, if you have an active knee shield and I'm here, even if I connect my hands on the knee one of your legs, you can take that leg out, hips came over, and now you're gonna take your time digging this leg out. Does that make sense? So, keep that knee shield active. Yes, sir. Um, instead of pushing Do what you can, as long as you get a knee pinch down. So what he's saying is this: like I don't have, I don't have long legs either. I'm like five ten with a long torso, so not much room left, like you know, left for uh, long legs. So if I'm here and I have this right, and we hip skate, we get over. If all you can muster is this, punch it through. I straighten this leg out so I can pinch in here. Does that make sense? Like now. The only difference is you just punch it through here. It's gonna be the same thing. Just make sure you're pinching this. Cool? All right, so that's our basic, uh, that's our basic knee shield entry. The one I like a lot is gonna be a butterfly off balance. So it can be either a butterfly or a half butterfly or when they reach for your head. If Let's say we have our half butterfly here, and we're playing, and he's doing a good job of keeping the arm away from me. I can start going here and bringing him over. See how he balances? Here, then I'm just gonna let go, and pinch, and I use my leg to extend, right? Now we're here, I can, if I want to, start going this way. He doesn't like that. He's gonna start pushing back into me, as he does. Go back. Cool? So you need to understand it's like every time we do a choy bar, every time we get that shoulder crunch, I can always try to go for that cutting arm bar. Cool? It's just gonna depend on your relative body angle. And a lot of times they're gonna give you the choy bar because they don't want to get a straight arm bar. Does that make sense? So one more time, half out of five. This guy keeping the arm away from me, keeping his leg away from me. He doesn't want to get leg lock, he doesn't want to get choy bar. Right? So I'm going to start lifting and I'm balancing him this way. As he does this, I have access to his arm. I'm going to start coming this way. He doesn't want to get to, uh, straight arm bar, so he's start pushing back into me. Now I'm in the position I want to be. I can put my foot on the hip, throw my leg through, work here, catch the arm, and go. It's an angle. He's here. He's just being heavy. He's trying to keep the arm away from me, his leg away from me, right? I'm just gonna get an overhook, start lifting, and this happens, right? Now from here, I'm gonna start hooking, and almost like an x car sweep and kick him out, right? Now from here, it's hard for me to finish the cutting arm bar when he has an arm on the mat, right? So I'm gonna let him push me back, and I'm ready to transition, putting my foot on the hip, and controlling his arm, Shoot the leg all the way through, and we have a choy bar. Cool? Let's try it. One, two. Okay, so.
How are we doing with this? Eh. Eh. <laughs> ah, eh. All right. So when we start doing this from open car and we start messing around, you're, it's a little bit uncomfortable because you're losing a lot of connection with your feet and you're kind of like selling out on like, I have his arm in a very precarious position and I trust my leg pummeling to get me there. Okay? So from the example we were doing, where we butt, any kind of butterfly, and I get it to post over me, and I get here, I start coming this way, he puts his arm up. If he doesn't put his arm up, like, put him, uh, let's get you off of that, and I'm able to sit up and finish this, take it all back, right? But usually they're gonna put the arm up here, and you start pushing back into me. That's when I start coming this way. At this point, I didn't get a chance to get my foot out, to have my foot all the way through already. I still use that. To, to make the space and here. And now look at my feet. I'm still in the same position. Right? So I just care more than anything, getting a top foot there. My foot can be all the way through, can be in between the legs, can be all the way outside. Doesn't matter as long as that top foot is there, putting pressure down. Does that make sense? Cool. With that in mind, let's give this one one more go, and then we'll keep going over entry. Cool. And then we'll troubleshoot defenses at that. One, two. So if we're here, if you guys familiar, you're on your knees. Start. Stick to the knees now. Are you guys familiar with K guard? Right, so I'm gonna drop my knee, my foot is up, I start coming this way, drop this through, looking like I know what I'm doing, all right? So a lot of times, you start doing that to people, they grab your head, they're like, no, no. They put this in the way and just pull this leg out. And now I don't have the leg anymore, right? But if you're good at choy bars, when somebody grabs your head, you're like, yes, please. And now we're here. Right, and my knee is in a very similar spot. My foot right now is on top of the hips, so it's a little bit different before it was shoved between the legs, correct? So we're here. He's gonna start making it hard for me to clear my foot. I can't just kick my foot out like I was doing it before, right? This is controlling here. So I gotta stay super tight here. I'm gonna use, this is not nice, by the way. So I apologize to the pretty part, I feel bad. My bad, bro. It's okay. Right, I'm gonna open up my elbow and I'm gonna start bringing my knee inside here. Now I'm gonna replace my knee with my elbow. The point of my knee pinches down as a circle. And again, my foot's gonna be outside as I'm good foot is in all the way. And then I finish. Cool? So we have K guard. So I have a plane. Oh shit, that looks alive. Oh no, that looks not alive. So I gotta go to the arm. Cool. Now I'm gonna punch pinches down, open this elbow, and then use through the middle, bring my knee through. Now I punch, I push away with my shin, I poke my knee out, and I pinch here as I circle through and get my spot. Cool. Now I'm here. Control. Finish. And remember, his elbow is facing up, so I'm not finishing by just driving my hips in. I'm driving my hips in, keeping everything tight, and then this little bit of pull against my legs when it gets a tap. <laughs> then we get it. All right, guys. Ah, one, two.
I get double under here, this happens, I get lifted up, I get stacked. I start questioning my life decisions, <laughs> and why, why I take part in the sport, go back. So as soon as you start feeling two hands under, one thing you need to do immediately is you're gonna shift. Okay, you gotta shift at least one leg down. You don't have to shift both legs down because usually they back out of that spot. It's like give him some hope that he can do this. All right, you get to cheer him on. It's like, you got this, buddy. All right? So one leg drops. The leg that drops, that's what happens. We're here. Now hip skate. Now come through. Now, let's say he's able to dig it as we're doing this. He's like, ah, oh, man. Lucks his hands. He's like, this is not, not today. Not again. So you're gonna lock his hands as you're doing this. So one more time. Double unders, I recognize in time, shift my hips, shoot the underhook, get the clamp. As I get the clamp, my partner is like, I'm done with this. You're the worst training partner. Right? He's gonna clench his hands. As he clench his hands, I'm gonna continue on to do what I need to do. If my foot stays here, I'm gonna shoot my foot all the way through. And now I'm going to put my far foot on the hip. I'm going to elevate. I'm going to switch my hands. Okay? And I'm going to get a Kimura grip. So lock your hands. So now from here, I'm going to clamp down a push. Try to keep your hands locked. And I'm able to pull and breathe and change. So with one hand switch in there. <coughs> Double unders, right? As I, we recognize and switch, we open that, out, that shoulder, we get our hand through, and we start just kicking his leg out, right? Now, he knows what's up, lost his hands. We continue on here, if I have to, like that, and here, I'm just gonna switch my hands. So now my bottom elbow opens, grab the wrist, and now I can put the foot in the hip here. Start pushing. Hands come open, and finish. So you switch your hands to get the Kimura? Yes. The Kimura grip's gonna be better at breaking the grip open. Depends how flexible your shoulders are. But I, I like giving myself a little bit extra room by elevating to my hip a little bit. Cool? Also, that relieves pressure if he's really driving into you. That relieves some pressure when you go on your knee. Questions about this? Sure. So we're here, one side. On the hook, kick through, free my leg, shoot it all the way through. Get on my knees, switch hands, right? Come back, anchor myself, start elevating. Now, pinch and finish. Cool? All right, let's try it. One, two. Yes. So the question is, why am I going on my knee to switch my hands? So we got we got to our spot. We're here. He's locking his hands, locking hands, and we want to break this open, right? So our foot is all the way through, and we're here. My elbow hits the ground, so I can't pull my elbow out. But if I rotate on my hip, and I'm on my ear and my shoulder, my elbow can come out. So now I can switch my hands, lock the Kimura grip, come back through. And now I can finish. Cool? Another question we got was, let's say we have the regular one. We're here. He starts rolling through. What happens? We use armbar. Go back. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on, man. Gotta work on the rolls. <laughs> so we're here, right? If I have if one of the feet is in the half court trying to roll through, it's a lot harder and slower, and a lot of times I can finish mid-ball. 
Does that make sense? And also, there's like we're talking the entire time we're talking about relative body position. I'm not st I'm not arm barring by just driving in, but it's a lot more about pinching and driving against my pinch. That even if he rolls, I just keep doing the same thing. I'm still pinching, I'm still driving against the pinch. So no matter what position we're hitting in, I'm doing the same thing. Cool. Uh, let's try that roll real quick, and then I want to show like. Maybe one more position. Cool. Uh, real quick, so get to your whatever entry you want to do. Actually, let's do a new entry and then we'll do the roll through doing that entry, okay? So, one of the things we worked, uh, we worked on, uh, we did the, anybody do my sit up skate pod? That's where we're here, right? So, you're here, they start hunting this arm, and if they can't reach that arm, they start trying to reach for your head here. And I already have my arm here, right? So now I just have to make sure my, my shield is out so I'm not falling out here. And I can start coming this way, right? Now, put in the hip, hipscape, either inside or outside. And we're back to this spot. He rolls through, he rolls through, I just roll through. I can even finish from this, like, you know, this one. Because all I care is about my pinch and drive into the pinch. Cool? Question about this. No? One more time? Yes. yes. So from elbow skate five. I got smash pass. I build back up here. I'm I'm windshield wiper in. He's like trying to hunt me down, cutting me back out. Right? My elbow post is gonna frame. I'm gonna make sure my hook comes out and I'm gonna dive into this and turn. Right? So now we're in this spot. Now I can double the arm, shoot this through, keep rolling through, we finish the regular arm work. Cool? Alright, one, two. So I just want to do one spot uh, from the top. I think he has half power on me. You can make sure you bump. So if we're playing top, right? And this guy starts underhooking me. If I'm able to turn and get here, I can accept the sweep. And look back here. Does that make sense? And then you can also do like a single leg, and like certain butterfly sweeps. You're like, okay, I'll get swept, but when I get swept, you aren't accepted. Right? So the more you do it, the more you see it. So anytime you're on top, you can do like a side control. But if I'm able, he's not coming into me, and I'm able to get an underhook on him, and I'm able to get the class, right? I'm just gonna fold to my hip and make sure my leg is nice and wide, so we can pinch. And we have this. Cool, now this arm is here. Let me get this finish here. So, if you get good at this position, you can go back home and just terrorize your training partners. <laughs> and that's what I want. <laughs> All right, so let's drill this real quick and then we'll call it a day before my wife beats me up. All right? One, two.